here today with my friend Dexter the Dinosaur and we were just thinking about having a sleepover but Dexter's a little bit worried. So I thought we'd read a story called Dinosaur Sleepover and it's by Pamela Duncan Edwards illustrated by Deborah Allwright. your cousin's birthday and he invited you and Dinosaur to a sleepover party. What if Dinosaur looked puzzled? You'd say, we'll all have fun at the party, Dinosaur, then everyone gets to stay overnight. What if Dinosaur shook his handsome dinosaur head and said in a firm voice, a dinosaur can't stay overnight because his family would miss him too much. You'd say, that's okay, Dinosaur. We can ask Pickles to look after our family while we're gone. There's Pickles there. What if Dinosaur tapped his sparkling dinosaur teeth and said in an anxious voice, dinosaurs have to brush their teeth before they go to bed. I wouldn't have my toothbrush with me. You'd say, that's no problem, Dinosaur. We'll take our things in your stripy wash bag and we'll put your toothbrush in the pocket at the side. What if Dinosaur blinked his bright dinosaur eyes and said in a worried voice, if a dinosaur did go visiting, we'd have to take a clean pyjamas. My pyjamas are in the wash. You'd say, but you've got two pairs of pyjamas, Dinosaur. Your other pair is folded and ready to pack. What if Dinosaur made himself very small and said in a nervous voice, I'm afraid they'll forget to come for us in the morning. What if we have to sleep over forever and ever? You'd give Dinosaur a huge hug and say, I tell you what, Dinosaur, we'll write a big note and stick it on the fridge. We'll say, please pick us up tomorrow at 10 o'clock. I bet Dinosaur would wrinkle his bony dinosaur forehead and think very hard. Then he'd say, okay, and off you'd go. What if you were walking up the path and to the party and Dinosaur gave a gasp and cried, I didn't bring Teddy! A dinosaur can't sleep without his Teddy! You'd laugh and say, silly old dinosaur, you put Teddy in your special bag. His head's poking out the top. And I bet Dinosaur would laugh too. What if you opened the door to the party and everyone said, hello? I bet Dinosaur would smile his huge toothy dinosaur smile and run to join the games. They do look like they're having fun. Then you'd play musical chairs and hide and seek and catch the dinosaur's tail and lots of other games until the birthday cake arrived. And after your cousin had blown out all the candles, I bet Dinosaur would eat a dino-sized piece of cake. Oh, wow, that is big. When it was time for bed, I bet everyone would chatter and giggle and maybe even have a pillow fight. Then you'd laugh and laugh until you were all so tired, you just had to go to sleep. if you were snuggled deep down in your sleeping bag and Dinosaur whispered in his happy dinosaur voice, when it's our birthday, should we have a sleepover party? Then I bet you'd say, great idea, Dinosaur. I wonder if 
Dinosaur had a great birthday party. Now, Dexter, do you think we should have a sleepover? I'm in my sleeping bag ready.